Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albino Rana Beer Review. Ah! We we hacked, we're actually live right now on a Saturday night hangout, and we're looking at from Small Pony Beer Works in Dunrobin, Ontario. We're looking at the Smooth Pumpkin. So the Smooth series is like a a smoothie beer series. I actually ordered two of these, and I ordered the second one solely to share with some of my coworkers because they've never had a pumpkin beer. And they've never had a smoothie beer. And I'm like, I will get you one of these. Anyway, this is a red sour beer aged in oak barrels. with Packaged with pureed pumpkin, mango, brown sugar, vanilla, and spices. Keep refrigerated and enjoy fresh. This is extremely fresh. This was actually announced the same day I ordered it. Uh, so you are supposed to get it, get a glass, go to Small Pony Beer Works, buy the can, and get a glass. Then you're supposed to shake it, one, two, which really does worry me. Shaking it worries me, but you're shaking it solely to uh, get the puree to move. But as a person that's drank beer most of his life, that is something I don't want to do. Then you're supposed to open it, pour it in your glass, and enjoy. Uh, we are looking at 5% alcohol by volume. It is a flavored beer brewed in Dunrobin, Ontario by Small Pony Beer Works. It contains barley, wheat, rye, and oats. So there's even a huge, a huge malt bill on here. And we have keep refrigerated and enjoy fresh. Brian is the only person in the chat room with me and he's making weird noises in the background. It's good, it's good. I'm hoping this doesn't explode on me, but I just shook it. So, you know, again, as a person who has drank beer most of his life, I really hate shaking it, but we shook it. So. <laughs> And it didn't blow up. Oh, look at, look at that. Oh, that is, that is thick. <laughs> There's no head. I'll give it that. There's no head. <laughs> that, and I, I know that you guys live can't see it, but this, this camera can. That looks like pumpkin pie filling in the glass. I do see there's some comments, we will get to it. So, so pumpkin pie filling in the glass. And as Brian brought up, it looks kind of like a WD-40 can. That is what they go for. It's even worse when you drink the original Smooth because the original Smooth is fully color coded to look like WD-40. And I guess also up top of WD-40, I think it's supposed to be kind of like an Ikea thing because the, um, Back here, it's not in French or anything. We have Farvoras e Kilskop Ok Avenjuts Farsk. I don't know what fucking language it's supposed to be. That's not German. Okay, well, I, I'm not great at fucking accents, okay? Um, my, my, my grandparents had an irish accent and when i made fun of the irish accent i sounded like i was making an indian accent so so i'm not great at accents okay leave me alone <laughs> but yeah that that is that's disgusting looking like that is so thick it's not even funny i just snorted it oh god look at the amount of liquid coming out of my nose Okay, well, all I smell now is pumpkin pie with mango. That's all I can smell is pumpkin pie and mango. Oh, like, what do we have here? Sugar, brown sugar. Okay, I don't smell brown sugar, but it's sweet. Vanilla, I smell. Spices, yeah, I'm getting coriander. I'm getting allspice. I'm getting nutmeg. I'm getting cinnamon. Uh, pumpkin, fucking right. I can smell pumpkin. And no, pumpkin doesn't have much of a scent. You're right, it doesn't have much of a scent. But as a pumpkin rots, you get that, like, very big botanical weird smell. And I, I'm getting that. Mango puree, I'm not smelling. Oak barrels, okay, yeah, I'm getting a little bit of an oakiness. And you get that from any beer that they make. I, I'm really sad that I snorted it. Because all I can smell... Is what I just do. Uh, I, yeah. Every, okay, we're trying it. Cheers. That 
That actually makes me a little sad. Um, I was really excited by this beer. I was. I was like, hey, it's my first pumpkin beer of the year. Yeah. And I was really excited. And it has the flavors it says it should have. Like you can taste the vanilla. You can taste the cinnamon. You can taste the nutmeg. You can taste the allspice. You can taste... You can taste the uh, brown sugar. You can taste the mango. You don't really taste pumpkin, but pumpkin, as most people know, doesn't have a huge flavor. Pumpkin's mostly used for the mouthfeel. And yeah, it's, it's heavy mouthfeel. The problem is, I'm tasting so much of that sour red ale with the oak. So I'm getting the, the telltale sign that you're drinking a small pony barrel works beer, which is a little bit of like, tongue depressor on the back of the tongue and this very sweet and very sour flavor at the same time they're using mango to help round it out and you can taste some of the mango but the um the forefront of this beer is very very uh saison Ask. You get that almost like white peppery, woody, barnyard funk that flips to a, a mango flavor and then flips to all the pumpkins pie spices. And all three of those different beers together don't work. The pumpkin spices, amazing. The barrel aged red sour ale, amazing. The mango puree, amazing. All three of them together, not amazing <laughs> and it is thick like it it's thick if you've ever snowballed in your life you know what i'm talking about brian's quiet right now because he's like motherfucker snowballed i'm not answering that yes or no but did you work with nicknamed snowball that's why i'm asking because we worked together for so long well lots of people quit You know, I, I can't even think about this review now because I'm trying to think of who quit while I was there. <laughs> it's thick. It's really thick, but it looks thick. Um, it tastes really good, but at the same time, there's too much stuff going on. I like some of the smooth beers. I've had the original smooth. And I really liked the original Smooth. It was like, wow, this is a really good beer. I've had the Green Smooth, which is what they put out for, um, they put it out for uh, for St. Patty's Day. And it was like spinach and a whole bunch of, and kiwi and everything else. And it was really good. And this one I was hoping would be like a 9 plus out of 10, like the other ones were. But it's not. It's not bad. It's not under a seven. Like, I would buy this again. I actually have a second can of it to share with some of the people that I work with. But, um, I'm going to give it a seven, a seven out of ten. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Bye.